In a word? Bah humbug. On Saturday, Amy Duggar took to Instagram and revealed to followers that Cole wasn't placed in her stocking this year. But the COVID-19 virus did end up in her system. As a result, she wasn't able to celebrate Christmas with her husband and young son. Christmas is cancelled here until further notice, wrote Amy as a caption to the following snapshot, which is a screen grab of her and her soulmate, Dylan, on FaceTime. My test results came back positive. My husband is quarantined in our bedroom, and his quarantine ends soon. My quarantine started yesterday, and I'm in the bedroom upstairs away from everyone. I don't have fever but the body aches and chills are terrible. My mom and son, Daxi, are doing great, and I can hear Elf playing downstairs. Amy, of course, is the niece of Jim Bob Duggar. She has been extremely critical of her infamous family members for months now. Amy quickly praised Jesus Christ after the jury reached verdict. Definitely not the Christmas I thought we would be having, but I'll be posting our Christmas in January, the mother of one continued on Saturday. Nothing is wrapped, we didn't do a family picture, we are separated from each other, but life is still good, and there's so much to smile about, and even though I'm trapped for 10 days I'll use this time to grow closer to the Lord, see some blockbuster hits and rest. I'm so thankful for mom for taking care of our little guy we love you so much. Until we are better Merry Merry Christmas. Prior to this unfortunate posting, the last time we heard from Amy, she was celebrating getting placed in solitary confinement. Previously, Amy ran down the common traits of a sociopath. Lack of remorse, guilt or empathy, constant deception, inability to form emotional attachments, superficial charm, dishonesty, manipulative, reckless behavior, she wrote, very clearly referencing her gross cousin. As Amy quarantined late last week, she further explained her developing symptoms in a series of Instagram story videos, emphasizing that she later had a fever and chills. I just wanted to say have a merry, merry Christmas, and I pray that it's a peaceful one and a healthy one for you and your family, the Arkansas native concluded via a video at the time. Cheers. Amy then followed up Christmas Day itself, writing to the world, Merry Christmas to you. From this greasy hair COVID girl who wears her shirt inside out and hasn't showered in days, and while we doubt he cares much about Amy's well-being, a different one of her cousins seemed concerned. Oh no. So sorry you're sick, wrote Jill Duggar as comment over the weekend. We concur. Hang in there, Amy. We need you to at least feel well enough to keep trashing he every chance you get.